Hello friends, welcome to Code Sutra. Let's solve lead code problem number 859, body strings. In this problem, we are given two strings. See, though the problem is a very easy level problem, it is necessary that we generate all the possible examples before even diving into the implementation part. Why? Because any string problem that is in lead code or that is asked in interviews have the same pattern that is there are n number of edge cases so if you don't know it before implementation you have to re-implement the whole solution the whole track of the solution will be changed so it is very important that we write down all the examples that comes to our mind only once we have written all the examples and solved it on a piece of paper only then we'll be diving into the actual solution this is true across all the string problem so the first thing is here we are given two strings one is s and the other one is goal. For example, A, B, C, D, E and A, D, C, B, E. Here we have to swap two characters to make them equal. For example, this B and this D. What happens once we swap this? This actually becomes the same. A, D, C, B, E. Are they equal? Yes, they are equal. Let's take the second example, which is similar to the same example, but here we have X and we are we have c can any two characters be swapped the constraint of this problem is only two characters can be swapped they have to be swapped so if you swap b and d we still have x remaining which is not at all there here so this won't be a body string let's take another example this and this are already equal but the question as you must swap so in this case this will are also not body strings let's take another example though they are already equal can this a be swapped with this a yes right so this is a body string let's take another example a b c and a b are they can any two characters be swapped why their length is only not same so we will not consider it any further let's take another example where a b c d and the goal is equal to a c c d so can any two characters be swapped here no right why because only one of them is changed for example even in here let's take e can any two characters be swapped no right why because only one character is different or let's take a b e d so only one character is different so this can also not be done so these are the various edge cases that has to be considered before solving the problem now let's write down what all the observations we have drawn the first thing is if two strings are equal we need at least one character whose frequency is greater than one that is in this case we saw that these two example if two strings are already equal we need at least one character whose frequency is greater than one. That is the first observation that we draw and we understood this. At max, two characters can be misplaced. The second thing is we saw here is, here three characters are misplaced. At max, only two characters can be misplaced. If three or more characters are misplaced, we can directly return false. The third thing is, the misplaced characters should be exchanged, that is, Whatever was there at i's place and j's place can be swapped and they both have to be equal. And what was the fourth observation that we draw? That is, they should be of equal length. What is the fifth observation that we actually drawn from the last example? One is, there must be exactly two misplaced characters. There are, there can't be just one misplaced character. So once we have drawn all this observation, now the implementation part will become very easy. Let's dive into the pseudocode. The first thing is we go on to directly implement that if they are not of equal length. Why are we writing this first? Because it doesn't make sense to continue the problem if this is not true. That is the first thing. The second thing is if both of them are equal, what we are trying to do is we are checking the frequency of the character. How are we checking? One thing is we can do it with the help of a hash set or a hash map. but here we are given that only lower cases will be there. So what we are doing is we are creating a count array of 26 and each represent. For example, A will be represented by 0, B will be represented by 1 and so on. So once we get the count, we will be increasing. At any point, if the frequency increases to 2, 
we will just return true because that's it what we want then we will keep track of index 1 and index 2 that means we can only swap two characters so we are keeping track of index 1 and index 2 both of them are minus 1 and minus 1 why because the index can never be equal to is minus 1 or less than 0 now what we are trying to do is we are checking are there any misplaced characters if there is a misplaced character for the first time we are changing the index 1 if there is for the second time we will be changing the index 2 if there is for the third time we will not do anything and we will return false and one more edge case scenario that we got here there can't be just one misplaced character so that is the condition that we are writing here that is if index 2 equals minus 1 we will just be returning false why because there can't be just one misplaced character the final statement is that they can be swapped that is what we saw here this statement is written so let's dive into the coding part actually so before diving into the coding part i know this is a easy uh, level problem but if you are interested in solving problems similar to this these are some of the problems that you can consider which have the same uh, pattern with the increasing order of difficulty and we do have a telegram group where we will be discussing the solution to this problem and the link of the telegram group is mentioned in the description do consider joining the telegram group and let's dive into the coding part it is a straight away implementation from the pseudo code that is first thing is we are checking if the lengths are equal if the lengths are not equal we will just be returning false this case is when to count the frequency when they are equal the next case scenario is we have index as minus 1 and minus 1 and we will be changing the index at every point that is if they are not equal we will be changing index 1 first then the index 2 and finally we will be comparing them thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe